Today we're gonna to create a moody urban Lightroom preset with Lightroom Mobile so you can quickly apply this awesome look to your photos in seconds. Now later in this tutorial, I'll be sharing the free preset download, so make sure to stick around to learn how to get access to that. My name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com where we love to talk about photography and photo editing. And to make photo editing easier, presets can help a lot because then rather than going through all of your settings individually, you can just click that preset once and everything is done for you. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna include a free preset up in a card somewhere within this video. So make sure to stick around throughout the video for that card to appear and then you can click on it, download that free preset that we're gonna to create today. Now if you don't wanna go treasure hunting for that card, then you can just follow along with this tutorial to get all of the exact settings to use, which I'll be sharing a step-by-step -step process here in this tutorial. Now at the end of this video, I'll also share how to create a preset with all of the settings that we use today. So then you can make your very own preset for yourself without having to download it if that's what you're into as well. So with all that said, let's hop into Lightroom Mobile and learn how to make this moody urban editing style. Now to begin the editing process for this moody urban editing style, we'll start within the lights adjustment, which is this little sun icon right here. The first thing that we'll need to do is work with our exposure slider. We're gonna set our exposure to minus 0.6. So tapping on the slider, you can decrease it by 10 point increments. So tapping once, tapping twice, all the way down to 0 0.60. So that's gonna darken our entire image and help to create this moody look. Now from here, we can further enhance that dark gritty feel by adding some more contrast. So with our contrast slider, we'll once again tap on the slider and set it to plus 70. So tapping on that slider all the way up to plus 70. Now we have a dark and really moody looking photo and this is a great starting point for this editing style. But now we have our highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks that we can go through to further refine this look. Starting with our highlights, we'll decrease that amount to minus 70. So tapping on that slider all the way down to minus 70. Next, we'll go to our shadows and set that to plus 35. Going down to our white slider, we'll set that to minus 40. And then finally, with our blacks adjustment, we'll set that to plus 40. Now what we have done is essentially balanced out some of our exposure, favored some of those darker tones, but we still are able to see all of the details in the dark areas. So looking at that before and after here, you can see how we've added more of a moody feel to the image. Now, although these sliders are a great starting point, we can further improve this using our curves adjustment. Clicking on the curve option in the top corner here, we're going to decrease our shadows, increase our highlights, and then also add a small matte look. So let's start by adding a anchor point right in the shadows here, and then decrease that just slightly. And then we'll go and do the same in the highlights, adding an anchor point, but increasing it just to add some contrast in there again. Now to create a matte look, we'll actually click on the very bottom corner of our curves adjustment and we'll click and drag that up just slightly. What that's going to do is create a matte and soft look to those shadows. And as you go up, notice how it gets more and more significant. We don't wanna to go too crazy with this. So just a slight adjustment like that looks pretty good to me right there. Once you have that all dialed in, just click done. And now we're ready to move on to our color adjustments. Going now to our color option, we're gonna first decrease the saturation to minus 30. Now that all of our colors are slightly muted down, let's go into the color mix option so we can target more specific colors throughout our image. Clicking on the little color wheel in the corner there, we'll start with our reds, and then we'll work through all of the colors that we see in our photo. Now in this photo, you can see that we have lots of blues in the background, we have red in his shirt, and then also some orange tones in his skin. So those are the main colors that we're gonna wanna work with when creating this specific preset, as these are very dominant colors in pretty much any image that you're working with. Now for the first thing, we'll start with our reds, making sure that the red color is selected, and we're gonna set the hue to negative 15. Next, we're gonna decrease that saturation because we wanna make it look more moody and dark, so we're gonna decrease that saturation all the way to minus 60. 
Next, we'll go to our luminance adjustment and increase that to plus 50, and that's going to brighten up those reds. So although they look desaturated, they still pop within the photo. Now let's go to our next dominant color, which is the orange. Clicking on the orange color, I'm going to set the hue to minus 15 once again, the saturation to minus 10, and I'm not going to adjust the luminance because the oranges, which is his skin tone, are already quite bright with those highlights. Now clicking on the cyan adjustment, we'll decrease the saturation all the way to minus 75, and then we'll also decrease the luminance to negative 40. Lastly, to finish off our color mix adjustments, we'll click on the blues and then we'll change the hue to minus 15, the saturation to minus 60, and our luminance value to minus 50. That's going to darken up that background and help us get that moody look that we are going for. All right, so turning that on and off, you can see the huge difference that we've created so far, but we can still enhance this look with a few more adjustments. Now, if you're still hanging around for that free preset, then don't worry, it is gonna be coming up very soon, so keep an eye out on that upper corner for that card. Next, we're gonna to go to our effects option, and we're going to adjust our texture and clarity a little bit. Starting with our texture, we're gonna set that to plus 15. Going to our clarity, we'll set that to plus 10. And that just helps all of those textures in the photo look a little bit more noticeable and helps add that gritty look for this editing style. Now we can go to the vignette option. We wanna add a black darkening around the entire photo. So we'll decrease that amount to negative 20. I'm pretty happy with all of the vignette settings and I'm not gonna adjust any of these for the preset that we're creating today. Now to finish things off, we're gonna to go to our detail option. We're gonna increase the sharpening just a little to plus 32. So tapping on that all the way up to plus 32 like so. And now we have completed this editing effect. So let's look at the before and after to see what we've created so far. Looking at our before and now our after, we've done a really great job to darken down the overall exposure of our photo, make some of those colors appear a bit more moody by desaturating some things. And we've also added a more gritty urban feel to this photo with some really easy adjustments here in Lightroom Mobile. So now that we've created this look, let's create a preset and apply it onto some other images. To create a preset, we're going to scroll down to our presets option right here, and we're going to go and click on the three dots icon. Then we'll go and click create preset, and we'll set this to whatever name you want. I'll call this to Urban Moody. We're gonna make sure that all of these adjustments are checked off like so. And then we can set a preset group. By default, it'll be in user presets, but if you click on this, you can create a new preset group for yourself. I've already gone ahead and done this, so I'm gonna select the Moody Urban preset group where I'm gonna save all of those adjustments into. With everything looking good here, I'll click the check mark to commit to that and now my Urban Moody preset is added. So now let's go and apply this editing style to other images. Starting with this photo, we'll click on our presets option and then we'll navigate to wherever you save that preset. In this case, I saved it in my Moody Urban presets. And now you can just tap on that preset. It's gonna apply that look straight onto your photo. And now we've quickly added this effect super easily. Let's go and apply this to something different now. Now in this photo, let's go and apply the same look, clicking on our presets. Moody Urban. It does a pretty good job to edit the overall image, but like all presets, some images will need a little bit more work than others. In this case, you notice that the greens are still popping, so we can go back into our color adjustments to fix that up. So clicking on our color adjustments, going to our color mix option, we'll click on the greens, which is all of those trees in the background, and we're just gonna desaturate that a little bit like so. And then we're gonna increase the luminance value to brighten everything up. And already this really helps to make this editing style look a little bit better. Next, we'll go to our oranges just to help with her skin tones to blend those in a bit more. We'll desaturate that and then we'll increase the luminance once again. Clicking done, looking at that before and after. You can see how we've gone from a bright sunny day to a moody gritty urban look with just a preset and some slight adjustments to refine that preset to your specific photo. So if you've come this far in this tutorial and you follow it along exactly like we've done so far, then you'll have a preset for yourself that's ready to go. If you're one of the people that waited for the card to download the preset that we just created, then I'll leave a link below for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to import those presets onto Lightroom Mobile and also get them into Lightroom Desktop as well.
well. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial and you created this preset for yourself, then make sure to hit that like button down below as it really makes a difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more editing tutorials just like today to help you nail down all of those editing styles that you love. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you for now. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.